Hey, 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 Big Dave the Middle-Aged Gamer here with another episode of Fallout London. And we're in the middle of Inkslink 10. We are next to the London Electronics Store. Whoops. And we're looking for a bar. And I think I know where it is, but we've got to apparently get around this pole. Uh... <laughs> Hopefully we'll find a marker for it, and that's just a scabber. Wait a minute. Save. That could be a. Yep. We'll save, because that was a successful fight. Am I going the right way? I am. Or at least I should be. There's a liquor store, or at least what used to be one, but that's not a bar. On the, oh, that's where we need to be. So it's not a bar. Save again. Nope, that one's just a post box. All right, Crypt on the Green. Here we go. All right, inside the Crypt on the Green. Okay, should be glad Smudge is not hostile. Crypt Guard. Okay. Trader. A shop? What's up, mate? Want to trade? Uh, yeah. Your offense, right? What kind of goods Here's do you have? Got. Actually, swings pretty fast. But, nah. Get rid of all this crap that we've got. What do we got? All right, one ticket left. That'll do for now. Let's see if he's got anything good. Okay. Uh, he's got shipments of co Oh, he does have shipments of wood and concrete. Oh, this is a game changer. It's not just Muhammad now. That's fascinating. Uh, but we're going to sit on it just for now. And he's got tons of ammo. Oh, okay. This is awesome. Well, hello, baby. But we're still looking for a coaster. 
Ooh, a tea station. A cooking stove. I don't like this place. I don't like it at all. I'm a walking corpse. Okay, and it's a steal. We're gonna save. It's not the load that breaks you down, it's the way you carry it. As an extra 20 to your carry weight. I love reading. Pass me that book when you're done, will you? Okay. Awesome. Let's get out of here. Okay, so we're done here. Because this Lincoln only has the one. So, we're going to get out of here. And we're going to go back to London. Okay, we are now at the St. Pancras International Hotel. Because the next place we're going to be is basically the south, but there's something nearby, the north. Some cultists. Nah! Nope. Looks like they're not giving us a choice. Come on, Arthur, let's take these fools out. Mama had a baby and his head popped off. Fissington wasn't such a crash, uh, crash issue. I'd visit there more often, especially now that I know that Krypton the Green's a shop. Okay, you know what? Screw it. We dealt with those two idiots. We're not here for sightseeing or anything like that. We're here to get drunk. That the target is located, and we're making our way towards it. It'll be the last one we can get to for the time being. Simply because we haven't really explored anywhere else yet. We're crawling across a, 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 a clock tower. That's funny. Alright, where'd it go? There we are. Got so wrapped up, I'm, walk, I'm defacing a clock with my feet that I lost track of where I was going. Exactly. Pistol Anarchist. Liberty Spikes. Well, he doesn't seem hostile, at least. Hey, now that we found the place, how the hell do we get in? Aha! Alright, let's go in. What the hell? Look, I'm not risking my life for some whiskey. You can have your money back. The money is not an issue. When two gentlemen enter into an agreement, a contract is forged. To betray that contract, well, that would be quite unforgivable. It would be quite the shame, in fact. Shame indeed. I don't want no trouble now. Lovely place you have here, Zachary. Wouldn't want the Tommies coming in and giving it a deep inspection, huh? They can be rather heavy-handed sometimes. So heavy-handed. And certain areas look, one might say, a touch flammable. No, no, police. I'll get it. I'll get it sorted. Okay? See that you do, boy. See that you do. Who the hell is this twat? What the hell? Okay, names like that, they sound like they're gentry. Hello, good citizen. How are you? It is lovely to meet you. What do you want, low life? Heard you talking about a whiskey with the barman? Ah, the legendary R. Winner. 
The single malt gold reserve from the Isle of Skye is still maturing after all these years in its oak cast. I get goosebumps just thinking about it. Oh, yes. What else do you know about it? You know they made it specifically for long maturation. High proof in thickened brandy soaked French oak stored at an extra low temperature to extend the aging process. 167 years that whiskey has been maturing. No one has ever tasted a whiskey like it. Percy and I have sought out the finest drinks in London, but nothing can compare to this. I must have it. Listen, Plebeian. If you can help out that poltroon barman, I would be most impressed. <sighs> All right, what can I get you? Nice bar here. Cheers. The case are all tastes here, and all sorts of welcome. I also specialize in procuring rare spirits for discerning customers. You need something special, just ask. What were those gentlemen after? My blood by the sound of things. Here, you look like you can take care of yourself. How do you fancy a little procurement job? Yeah, sure. Sure, I'm game. Those gingery fellas are after a special whiskey. An old pre-war cask from the Scottish Isles. Still maturing to this day. Very rare. Very special. Maturing for over 106 years? Surely the flavor would be ruined by maturing over long like that. Yeah, it probably tastes like shite, to be honest. But those stuck-up twats only cared about status. They drink their own piss if it had a gold label on it. <laughs> this is about the fanciest whiskey you can get. From the gold reserve of an old Isle of Skye distillery. The louder of the posh buggers can talk your ear off about it. They only made five of these casks, and only one of those got sent to London. I managed to track down the delivery details to the St. Pancras International Hotel. And we were just there. I tried to get to myself, but the place is full of lunatics. I nearly lost my leg looking around. Never even got near the cellar. Maybe you could manage better. I can give you a thousand tickets if you get the car scout safe. Oh, goddamn, yes. That sounds reasonable. Glad to hear it. The whiskey cask will be down in the cellar. Should stand out as it's meant to be painted gold. It's just an octave barrel, but it'll still weigh over a hundred pounds. So watch yourself with it. Bring it back here in one piece, and you'll get your money. Damage it in any way, and I swear we're both dead. These gentry folks are not the type you want to fuck with. Okay, so we got ourselves a new quest. I live in fear of no you people can help produce. Sense. There it is. Support to do business up close and personal will permanently gain plus 25% critical damage with melee weapons. Ooh. All right. I wish I loved mornings as much as the rest of these freaks seem to. <laughs> All right, so we're caught up now on the on the car on the coasters. So yeah, might as well try and get that uh, cask. All right, let's do this. Okay, back outside, and oh, we have another quest queued up, don't we? I guess we'll do that one instead. That's fine. Let's get rid of that. We don't need it anymore. So we need to go to, okay, it says we need to go to the bank. And for us, the easiest way to get there is from the Kino World Cinema? Or no, the access bunker, we can just follow that, we can just follow that barrier all the way down. Whoops. Why don't we do that? Okay. You see that barrier? Th oh, oh.
And we've got spotted by syndicates. Oh well. Any more? Yep, right there, right in front of our faces. Right. Well, that was actually pretty easy. Well, a successful fight means we save. dinner tray. I do believe that is aluminum. There's a lot of aluminum in this game. So we'll just follow the bridge, wall, whatever the hell this is, down. The fact that this is still producing light is kind of impressive. Uh-oh, what do we got? Pig rats. Like mole rats, but not. Oh, and a whole bunch of them decide to join the fray right in our faces. Are these things? Wow. Okay. Tougher versions of uh, mole rats. Very swarmy. And they poison too, so rat scorpions? Right, anyway, we're banged up. Let's heal real quick. Yeah, that'll do. We'll save too. Some glowing fungus. Hub flower. Another hub flower. What's this here? Mutated fern and fever blossom and another mutated fern. All right. It's probably just on the other side of the wall, isn't it? Yeah, because. That part you of the wall you can actually get to the other side of. Oh, that's bollocks. Alright, so we're going here. How the hell do we get in, though? Let's get some light on in here so we can see what we're doing. Aha! Mm hmm. 
Kind of weird that we're actually going in the bank through the vault. But, eh, whatever. Free war money and some ammo. More ammo and more money and a service revolver pistol. Or the same. Okay. Who's there? Who the fuck said that? Not those fools. Huh. That's Arthur. Okay, ah, here we go. Well, those obviously aren't working. There's a mod that I picked up that kind of reorganized the junk into more useful things. And uh, as such, pencils now count basically as trash. Weightless for the most part. Okay, that's the vault terminal, which we don't need. Okay, what am I looking at? Oh, bank security terminal. Okay. Okay. Let's start with image. And it turns out to be right. General security report. 1910-2077. Nothing too exciting to report today. Aside from an incident that brought a chuckle to our surveillance team, a stray cat managed to wander into the bank's lobby and caused quite the commotion knocking over a couple of potted plants and giving our patrons a run for their money. Fortunately, our security personnel swiftly handled the situation and the bank remains as secure as ever. Today's security report yields no significant events. A bank teller managed to cause some disarray and invoke mild panic among the bank's patrons after throwing their pencil holder across the floor. A swift response for our security personnel effectively contained the situation and the bank remains secure. Another routine security report, folks. The convoy to transfer the bank vault's gold to the Bank of England has apparently set off and is scheduled to arrive tomorrow. Nothing out of the ordinary and with no irregularities reported, but it's always good to keep an eye on these valuable shipments. Vigilance remains paramount. No unusual developments have come to our attention today. However, we've noticed something strange, though. They're asking us to empty the bank vault in a real rush this time. Normally, these processes take weeks of planning and coordination, but this time they're pushing for a quick turnaround. wonder what's up with that. And the day the bombs fell. Today, an atypical occurrence transpired within the bank's premises. Armed assailants launched an audacious attack, presenting a spectacle akin to a heist orchestrated in a cinematic setting. Visualize this scenario. A group of impeccably dressed individuals, strong cockney accents, and piloting modified vintage Wessex micro-automobiles. Armed to the teeth, they executed their plan with precision. A surveillance footage review is ongoing, but it is evident that uh, this heist de deviates from the norm. Security update. Day of the bombs. In response to the recent incident, repair operations for the bank vault are in full swing already. And the situation outside has assumed a heightened state of emergency. Military personnel have cordoned off the surrounding area with the deployment of armored tanks. It's a real mess, but we're getting things back under control. Alright, so what do we need to do now? Okay. I'm stuck here. I love it when that happens. <laughs> Wonderful. Well, I think we're going to cut it short here, and I'm going to try and get us back to this spot, because something stupid happened, clearly. So I'm going to leave it here. All right, everybody, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to get the latest and greatest uh, videos as they come in and to help this channel grow. This has been Big Dave the Middle-Aged Gamer. This is Fallout London. I'll see you all next time.